At this Japanese market, you can buy it by the kilogram. Atlantic bluefin tuna may be endangered. It's also a delicacy. And in Japan, they're willing to pay up to 120,000 euros for a single piece. The vast majority comes from the Mediterranean, about the only place where the fish still exist in any quantities. Overfishing has driven stocks down by 75% in the last 50 years. Now, drastic European quotas mean fishing for bluefin is severely curtailed, though not enough for some conservationists. For us, it's a stance which threatens the future of this resource, and which ultimately is only in the interests of fans of industrial fishing, not sustainable fishing, which is what we need. For their part, fishing companies have made efforts to comply with new regulations. The fishing season was cut in half this year to just one month. Fishermen in France and elsewhere say they don't have much more wiggle room left. If we keep on reducing quotas, then evidently we're reaching the limits of profitability for fish. That means the disappearance, pure and simple, of fishing from France, which will be a blow not just economically, but also socially, because when this part of the economy disappears, all the fisheries disappear. What makes it worse for European fishermen is to see their competitors from Libya or Turkey working free of regulations. And it's this showdown between ecology and economy which will make negotiations in Paris so difficult. The international community already tried in the spring to introduce a full ban on trading bluefin tuna, but it was voted down by a block of countries led by Japan. Conservationists are hoping this time things can be different.